Hey, hello there. This is Aaron of Booyah Farms, and I wanted to show you guys something that pops up here every summer, unfortunately. And uh, I was going through my tomatoes today, and like, look at this tomato. Something's gone through and eaten a lot of leaves off of it. And it's over here, too. Man, it doesn't focus real good. But you can see a lot of something's going through here and cleaning these plants out. And what they always are, usually, is this guy. And man, he's hard to see. Let me see if I can get a good picture of him. Here's a good, get the leaf out of the way. Tomato hornworms. Those guys are your culprits. With your tomatoes and your peppers. They love to get in there and they will eat. They will, it's funny, they will eat a whole pepper and you'll come out and there will be nothing there but the seed cluster hanging. They won't eat the seeds, but they'll eat the whole outside of the pepper. And uh, they're a pain in the butt, but they're not really hard to control. You have to keep an eye out. When you see damage like this in your garden, you need to, okay, take a, take a good look at your garden. And all I do to control them is come out. This is the third one I found today. And uh, keep an eye on them. Pick them. Look at this guy. Oh, boy. He's pretty big. He's almost as big as my little pinky. And uh, these guys are the, I don't know if they're the larva. I guess they would be the larva form of this, the sphinx moth. Which is actually a very important... Look, he's got a little horn on the back here. Yeah. They look a lot tougher than they are. But uh, these guys are actually... You can see how big he is, man. Uh, the moth, the sphinx moth, usually only comes out at night. That's why a lot of people don't see it. But they're actually an important pollinator of uh, our native desert cactuses and stuff like that. So, they're not horrible, but they can really wipe out a plant. And my whole key to controlling them is, okay, they're here, they've cleared out a plant, go in, start picking them up, pick them up, and then we do this to them. And uh, for those of you that are squeamish, I recommend you don't watch, but chick chick, chick chick, there you go. And she knows what to do with him. Um, it's not pretty, but that's pure protein for your chicken. It's, it's really good for your chicken. It's not going to hurt them none. And uh, the ducks, the ducks don't eat them. The ducks want to know what the heck's going on. The ducks think they're, think they're missing out on some food. But uh, those are tomato hornworms. There's a chicken running off with one and a duck chasing her. Even though the duck will never eat that dang thing. And I'm going to go out here and just look through my garden and see if I see any more. Um, this has been Eric from Booyah Farms and thanks for watching. Alright, hello there. This is a follow up to the last video I just made. Oh man, this guy's going to make it tough. See that little guy flying around? Yeah, there he is. There's another one right there. Yeah, he's in there. He's climbing under the leaves. He's looking around. And what those are, a lot of people call them, here they call them yellow jackets. Um, they're actually a paper wasp. And what they are is you they're your natural control for hornworms and other things so you know these guys have been flying around the garden for the last week or two and i, I it should have keyed me off hey there's something going on out here and uh what they do is they go through and their main prey is caterpillars okay so they take a caterpillar, a little caterpillar, a uh, lot smaller than the ones I just showed you guys. And they take it back to their nest and they feed it to their young. 
and they are the main predator of what we just pulled out of the garden, which is hornworms. When a, a sphinx moth lays its eggs for the horns, hornworms, boy, there's a lot of tongue twisters in that, but when the sphinx moth lays its eggs for hornworms, they lay 20 or 30 eggs. There's a tomato that a uh, hornworm just ate in half. They lay 20, anyways, they lay 20 or 30 eggs. They hatch out. Today I went through, I went through my garden pretty good. I found three. Why didn't I find 20 or 30? Because those guys are working my garden. They go through, they're not going to get the big ones, but they pick off the little ones. And that's what they're supposed to do. So a lot of people freak out about them. Oh, they're yellow jackets or wasps, whatever. Actually, what they are is they're a paper wasp. That's why you'll catch them on your shovel handles and stuff. They're chewing the, the pulp off your shovel handle to go back and build their nest. They are a pain in the butt when they build a nest right next to your back door. But if they're just coming through your garden, there's no reason to worry about them. All they're doing is helping you out. So, if you can, don't spray them with a bunch of crap. Don't hit them with the wasp spray. Let them do their thing, and they will make your life a lot easier when it comes to infestations of caterpillars, particularly hornworms. That's their main prey. That's what they do. They are totally beneficial. They don't do anything wrong to your garden. Just people are very scared of them because it hurts when they get stung. But uh, very good, very beneficial. Hey, there's my dog. Hi, Trip. Um, very good, very beneficial. Nothing wrong with them cruising through their garden. They are helping you out. You don't even know it. If I can find, find one hauling off a worm, which I doubt, I'll take a video of it. But that's what they do. Here he is. He's back again. There he is. He's looking. That's all they're doing. They're hunting. There's another one in here. They're looking for stuff to eat. And it's all good. Look at there. Here, let's see if we can get close up of this guy. That's the other thing. They look really mean. Um, they're not bad. They're good for your garden. They're going to help you out in the long run. Quit spraying crap all over your yard. And, uh, there he is. This one's kind of photogenic, actually. He's, uh, oh, yeah. Let's, you know, he's in there. He's poking around. He's looking for, for food. So, thanks for watching. This is Aaron from Booyah Farms. This is how a natural way to control stuff in your gardens. Sometimes you have to let a couple bad bad actors in to get the good ones in and these guys are not bad guys it just sucks when they build a nest right above your back door you got to figure out how to get them out of there but uh nothing wrong with these guys